Hey, all right. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we're getting started here. It's Money Monday. Uh, it's the only one you get February 24, 2020. So thanks, everyone, for being here. And uh, we're going to talk real briefly as we uh, get clear on what we should be spending our next couple of weeks on. Super Saturday. Eloy and I have been working together for a couple of years now. And um, yeah, buddy. Super Saturday has just been a critical part of our development and our training. And I know some people are like, yeah, but I've been to a Super Saturday. Why should I go to another one? And, um, and so what do you have to say to that, Eloy? Um, well, I, I, why wouldn't you go to another one is my question in return to that. Um, <laughs> so I, I took a couple of notes of reasons why I go to Super Saturday. And there's a lot of reasons. Um, but right now, the, the point that I touch on is that it's on a Saturday, and for the longest time, I, I just held Saturday on such a high pedestal. Um, was that, that's the prize. The prize is to make it to Saturday and Sunday um, so that I can have uh, fun, and then I'm going to work the rest of the week, and then I'll have fun Saturday and Sunday. Now, I realize if I go to Super Saturday, and I just do work, then I can enjoy Monday, Thursday. I can just enjoy every single day of the week <laughs> if I go to Super Saturday because it's all turned into life and work at the same exact time. So that's one of the reasons that I love Super Saturday. Right on. Right on. Yeah, it's not, it's not working for the weekend, right? It's, uh, it's having yeah, so work for not us. working for the weekend. So I'm actually, if, if it's cool with you, I'm going to just go over the quick notes because I, I, there's just some powerful points as to why. I, yeah. Not only that I've gone to basically every Super Saturday since I started Renault, but why I'm not going to Super Saturday um, until I'm dead. So the first was the Saturday thing. Second is, um, in fact, the first thing that I wrote down on my notes was I remember first Super Saturday. You were there, Michael, on my first Super Saturday. It was December 17th of 2018 of the December 8th 17th 2017 and it was you and then all of the leadership came across and there's maybe like 25 people in leadership and I saw for the first time this is me as a newbie I saw a vision then I saw the strength and the unity of leadership and it was not only the chance, of course, to connect with people such as yourself and all of the other leaders in the community, um, but I got a really good idea of, of Renatus as a whole, as a company, as what it has to offer. You start realizing um, this as well, specific tools to make money. So it wasn't just going to Super Saturday to nonchalantly hang out and have some trainings. It was to make money and there's very few times that i left super saturday and didn't apply and seen results slowly after because of the effort put forth um, i'm a validator so for all of the validators in in the room or on the call or in general it's one of my favorite places to go and be able to recognize others so being recognized is great but being able to recognize others when they are achieving things like becoming five star or making their first ten thousand dollars after becoming five star those are things that we love to recognize and i love to see people grow because on super saturdays you'll have the newest of the newest students there and just wait for one year if they consistently go there a completely different person um i see a lot of people and done emt twice my wife's done it twice um and and trainings like atm we all love the trainings and they uh, we might think they don't come around as often as we want them to because we always want to be in that training mode and we always want to be in the taking action mode that happens consequently from taking emt so what do you do the rest of the year the rest of the year uh it's super saturday super saturdays fill in the cracks of emt EMT and Super Saturday are almost the same thing. It's just that you're taking EMT as a dive deep super six week course, but Super Saturday is basically a 56 week course that's going on year round and, and it's it's filling in the cracks. It's it's amazing. It literally is EMT 
plus all of the experience that you're gaining on a weekly basis, the bills gaining on a weekly basis, Dane's call. I mean, it's it's just incredible. Um, let's see the wealth cycle. <laughs> We'd be nowhere without the wealth cycle. Uh, that's that's helped us make a lot of money. And how does how does that work? How do you go from a new student? to be able to collect a $10,000 paycheck, to be able to collect 10 $10,000 paycheck or more, the sky's the limit. And understanding the earnings plan makes it so much easier to then be able to talk to someone. There's this miscommunication that, oh, if, if I'm doing marketing, I'm, I'm not doing real estate. Or if I'm just gonna do real estate, I can't focus on marketing. And I do both at the same time and it seems to work and it's super Saturday has made it so easy for me to talk to people about the fact that we make money marketing the education. It's not even something you need to hide. And Super Saturday makes you proud of the fact that you don't need to hide that we're gonna make money when you enroll as a student. Now you can do the same thing. You can do the same thing as we did. Now this is when you come to Super Saturday and that's where you're gonna learn everything. Um, I probably have just tons more notes uh, on things and stuff that I love about Super Saturdays, uh, activities that we do after, uh, activities that we do there. We're, we're literally moving and shaking. We're not just sitting there and having you teach us and have a you know five-hour lecture. We're moving, we're, we're role-playing, we're taking phone calls, we're making plans, we're writing stories. We walk out of there with completed projects, not just more information that we've been drinking through a fire hose that's overwhelming. Like We are doing things and stuff that work so when we leave we have something to show for it um that's my 22 cents <laughs> nice nice well i appreciate that sir thanks for coming out thanks for being a, a, a pillar in our community and supporting people all across the nation uh you're a great example so keep it up cool learn from the camera you on the call bye bye okay have a great day all right, everyone. Well, that was exciting. So there's a Super Saturday in your area, and if there's not, there's one being broadcast to you. And hey, it sorry. is a major key to your better future. Be sure to be at those Super Saturdays. I've been to, I think, like 135, somewhere around there, 140. There was a, several months where I was going to two at a time. I was going to Salt Lake, and I was going to Denver. So um, I... I keep showing up. It's something that, you know, when Bob Snyder says, be it Super Saturday, like, like, well, like, how does anything else get trumped by that, right? If you're, you're, you're here to make money, you're here to develop a business, at least for your first year, you should be at every Super Saturday. And if you've been here for more than a year and you skipped, then start over and get a year straight under your belt. You know, I know some people that got to bring their kids Super Saturday, right? And it's just how the schedule works. Bring your kids. Um, it's, it's, it's just one of those top priority things. You got to make it more of a top priority. So speaking of that, uh, I want to go over a PowerPoint that Vanessa helped me make a while ago on personal production, how to make sure that we are personally producing. So, um, if you're not convinced about super Saturday yet, I don't know what else to tell you. Be there, it's that important. It's one of those uh, places where you're surrounded by success, you're surrounded by people working. When you're out in the world and you're just doing your regular nine to five job or your seven to three job, whatever you have, most of the people you're spending time with aren't thinking about their future. They're not thinking about how they're going to get ahead, how they're gonna get out of that job, how they're gonna save money, how they're gonna invest, how they're gonna get their dreams, none of that stuff. They're not thinking that way. They're thinking like how Eli was saying earlier, just can't wait till Saturday, can't wait till Sunday, and I'm not going to work those days. You get to step out of the pack. You get to separate yourself from the herd and say, you know what? Saturday is another day to work. All these people who are only working 40 hours a week, they're broke. They're absolutely broke. They, they, don't, have a, they don't have a plan. They don't have a system. 40 is the new zero. So if you now start working nights, you start working weekends, then you start really piling on this skill development in this business, you'll be able to quit that 40. But if that's your only source of income is that job, that 40 hours a week, 
that's the new zero. You're not, you're not actually working. You're there. Your status quo, your zero, your survival, you're just bare minimum. That's not, it's not good enough. So, uh, in Denver and Salt Lake city, we do a huge push for, uh, making these super Saturdays impactful and eventful, not just another training that's cookie cutter. Each one's different. Each one's got a new flair. Each one has a new, either a new trainer, a new approach, a new perspective. So every time you show up, even though yes, it's super Saturday and we're going to be talking about finding people, tell a story, build for events, follow up and the earnings plan. Every time it's different. Also every time a new way of saying things, a new aha moment. Uh, there are five star people showing up uh, that to receive their pin for that, you know, they just, they just earned it. And now we get to award them that the one star people, the, the, and in our office, we do the most valuable player, the team player award for each month, people stepping up, they're bringing guests, they're closing business, they're showing up early, they're volunteering, they're doing the whole, the whole thing. Uh, it, it's a ton of fun. And at some point, if you keep showing up and you keep building your team and they keep showing up and your team keeps showing up and it keeps growing, Eventually, Super Saturday will be your event, and you you might branch off and go get your own office across town, and now you got two offices in your area. That means that you guys could be double productive and double profitable, and so we're looking to expand and grow and duplicate, and when you go to Super Saturday, think, what, what would I do if this was my Super Saturday? If I was in charge of training these 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 people, 300 people, if I was in charge, how would today be going? And what would we be doing next month? And how would we be duplicating it? That's the kind of thoughts you need to be having at Super Saturday. How can you take what you're learning here and duplicate it for your business, for your growth, for your duplication? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So keep showing up. If you can only stay for a few hours sometimes, well, okay. But get in the habit of doing it. I'm in such the habit of doing it. What's up, Doug? Good morning. Uh, I'm in such the habit of going to Super Saturdays that my family knows don't don't invite me on a Saturday thing unless it's at night because Super Saturday mornings, Saturday mornings, we're doing something for our business. It's, it's another time to dive deep, to develop people, to get connected. And if you really want to be a team leader and you're trying to take Saturdays off, well, you got to understand that that's most people's only day off. Right? They, they work that full 40. Now they're trying to get to building their business and they make Saturday a priority. And if you don't make Saturday, Saturday a priority, what message is that? What are you showing people? So this is critical. It's also a great spot to meet your bucket sales, to meet the people who are going to roll up to you and, and have an influence on them too. Just again, be a good example. I'm telling you, it's going to pay off. All right. Now let me, uh, we're going to switch over to PowerPoint here. Here we go. Here we go. And here, share this. Bing, bing. There we go. Here we go. My keys to personal production let's do this booyah personal production secrets by michael huggins edited by vanessa my keys to personal production so one thing i want to point out is look at the faces what's on the faces smiles sonrie everyone is smiling excited productive happy uh, relationships are being formed, ideas are being shared, uh, perspectives are being shifted, and all the events. Go to as many events as you can. On the top left, we got Live Education Week. Uh, on the top right, we got our Leaders Retreat. On the bottom, we got House Tours. So participate and plug into as many things as possible. I went and counted, actually, and in Denver, if we look at our live events plus the phone calls and the webinars. There's over 50 events to plug into, to participate in, to get training and support from, and then add support to. So it's exciting stuff. Stay involved. Uh, here we are, goof around at regionals, having a ton of fun. Again, the smiles. Look at that guy. 
so much productivity and gratitude. Now here's how we're getting to being productive. Six steps. You gotta set up the game. You gotta gear up the mind. You gotta solidify the heart. Spread the word. Ask for the order and collect the checks. That's really what your job is here. Just put butts and seats and collect checks. Right? If someone asks you what you do on Saturdays, you know, I'll put butts and seats and I collect checks. It's pretty simple business. Um, so this is a little bit, uh, this is an old calendar, but the point is understanding your payday and the pay cycle. So for February, um, my point is there's a 12 day pay cycle. And so paying attention to that means that if you want to get paid in February, the last day to get your orders funded is the 27th. If you put in any orders right now, they're all going to pay out in March, even though we're still in February. They'll get paid in March. So remember that 12 day pay cycle. Now, as we move our guests through event cycles and just, I mean, we, we are an event driven business. We just, we do events and we do events and we do more events and the events you don't attend won't help you. The events you don't build for won't help you. So build for the events as if it's the only event build for the event. Like it's a nationals, even though it's just a house tour, by the way, thank you, Martin Potter for opening up your house tour uh, last Saturday for us. Uh, we're doing Kevin Irvin's property this Saturday in Colorado. So let's build for that. And um, four pillars. The five pillars. The pillars presentation. The shift in awareness that people get around wealth creation. So get them to the house tour. And you get them to the four pillars. And then from the four pillars, we go over to the funding workshop and the one-on-one. -on -one, and we talk about the ways to find money, the ways to fund your education, the ways to fund more deals, the ways to... Uh, get access to better credit, to do all kinds of things. Funding workshops are huge. In, in Salt Lake, we do them on Fridays. In Denver, we do them on Thursdays. In Chicago, they're on Fridays and Mondays. The key is, this is a critical step. I know a lot of people will get their guests to that four pillars, and they'll be like, hey, I got them to four pillars. I should make money now. <laughs> and it's not quite the case. It's the four pillars. Then the funding workshop. If they can't come back the next day to the funding workshop, that's fine. Do your one-on-one. -on -one. I know some people are like, well, but, but I've never done a one-on-one. -on -one. Let, me, let me pause this show for you for a second and show you how simple this could really be. So what you would do, if you're brand new, welcome, welcome. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come into your Helios. Bing, bing, Helios. Okay. Now you should see my Helios screen, yep. So what you'll do is down on the left, you'll come over to Marketing. Click on the Marketing tab. Oh, my serious face. Okay, Marketing, come down to Presentations. And then in this search bar, if you just simply type Michael, Hit enter. A few PowerPoints and videos will come up for you. And what you'll do is you can come right here to the current follow-up PowerPoint by Michael Huggins. Download this. I'll just download it right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And now you'll have the exact slides that I use, that I just used for my group follow-up. You'll have the same slides that people all across the country are using. You don't need to go make slides. You don't need to have done it a thousand times. You just see it once and do it once, and you're good. You download this PowerPoint, and, uh, and I've done a, a whole webinar just on how to give that PowerPoint uh, in, in a previous training. So search the channel for how to do the PowerPoint. And uh, that'll help. But the point is, just come here and download it. So if you, you're sitting with your guest, it's, they come to the pillars, and you say, all right, would you like to come back tomorrow? And they're like, I would love to come back tomorrow, except for there's 17 things I have to do tomorrow, and dang it, what do I do? And you say, no problem. 
why don't we get together the following day? Um, and I'll go over all the, the questions and answer stuff with you. How about that? And they they feel like a sense of connection is there. Like, really, you're gonna go and take some time out of your schedule to answer my questions? Oh, that's great. And people will take advantage of that. And your ability to run that Q&A or that follow-up, you could do these PowerPoint on your phone, on an iPad, on your laptop. Let's say you have none of those. Well, then how are you watching this video? So you are equipped. You download the PowerPoint right on your phone. Um, if you don't have the PowerPoint application on your phone, then it'll just open up in a browser and then you just swipe through. But it's not exactly what's on the screen. It's what you're saying about what's on the screen. And so the screen is just a guide. I, I've sometimes shown up and uh, forgotten my laptop and I just did it off of my phone. But the point is you're not just staring at your phone, you're looking at them. You're going through the info and looking at them and going through the info and looking at them. Okay. So, um, find the training that I did to go over that PowerPoint. All right, back to, back to my PowerPoint. Okay, so change, back to the PowerPoint, boom. Okay, so we were talking about four pillars and then the funding workshop with the 101. So that's it's a great outline of what to do at the 101 is that where I just showed you how to download it. Then our intensives in our Super Saturdays, bring guests to Super Saturday. The more guests you have at Super Saturday, the more money you make. It's just, that's just how it works. Uh, speaking of guests at Super Saturdays, uh, I think Taylor, yeah, Taylor, last Super Saturday in Salt Lake City, about halfway through the event, her guest goes, you know what, I'm in, put my order in. And so while we're finishing up Super Saturday, in the same room, Taylor's out enrolling her guest, getting a new team member. She's already five stars, so she's going to get the full commission. It's freaking awesome, right there at Super Saturday. So some of you are like, oh, Super Saturday, but yeah, but nothing. Bring a guest. Bring a guest, show up yourself, and make it a profitable event for you and for others. And then you know what it did is Taylor set an example and an awareness for all those other people in the room. And they went, oh, man, I should have brought a guest too. And if we all brought at least one guest, Super Saturday would be a mega party, right? A training great party, yes, let's do it. Where we get to duplicate and make money at the same time. So intensives and Super Saturdays. When's the next big intensive? Ladies and gentlemen, when is it? Next big intensive. We're all focusing on. March 7th with Mark Kohler, the Tax and Legal Intensive Stream Live from corporate. It's going to be awesome. And put guests in that. And then bring your guests to nationals. Bring your guests to regionals. And I don't know how you're going to bring a guest to leaders retreat. I don't know how that will work. Um, I'll give you more ideas as we get closer to, to leaders retreat. But for nationals, for sure, we sell the nationals tickets. At, this, at Super Saturdays, at the follow-ups. People come to the group follow-up on Thursdays here in Denver. And if, if we say, well, hey, if you're not ready to spend 20 grand, spend 357 bucks, come to Nationals. And people take us up on that. We've got orders going in, we've got guests going in. How is it that people out of state are gonna have more guests at Nationals than you? Better not let that happen, especially if you're in Utah. So build, 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 get your guests to Nationals. Okay, remember Super Saturdays, just another way of thinking about this is using these events to funnel into the four pillars, then to the follow-up, and then from the follow-up, it really just depends on what's next. Is there an intensive this Saturday, or is it a Super Saturday that's next? Or if it's neither of those, then let's go into onboarding and orientation, get them what they need, and show them the earnings plan, get the business pillar training going. And then from each of those, we're right back to nationals. Nationals is number one top priority. You want people to be productive under you. You want your overrides to happen. Then you got to get your team there. So Bob Snyder trains them. When Bob Snyder trains them, they're more productive. They're more eager to go out and do business, which ends up making you more business. So call your team. Get them to Nationals. Uh, carpool if you need to. Go rent a big Airbnb. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, there is going to be another huge conference in Salt Lake City the same weekend. 
and you need to get your hotel and your Airbnb now. Like I'm saying, like right now, right now, go get your Airbnb. Maybe if you don't have your nationals ticket, that's okay. Go get your Airbnb, go get your hotel now. Book an extra room and then t call your team and say, hey, I got you an extra room. Bring your guests, right? You could pile four, five, six people into one little room. Doesn't matter. You're not going to spend a lot of time in the room. You're spending time at nationals. We got late night parties every night. So it's not like you're going to need, you spend a lot of time in your hotel. You go there, sleep, change your clothes, come back. Like, that's what your hotel is for. But you need to book it now. Get your Airbnb. And some of you, you guys got your RVs, right? You got your recreational vehicles. Bring them. Bring them to Maku. Park them out in the parking lot. And you could rent out your, your RV to people. Right, there's going to be a shortage of, uh, there's going to be a restriction on the available rooms that weekend. So get them now. Get them now, double up, partner up, triple up. Nationals is, is a big deal, guys. Now look at all these smiling faces. And these smiling faces. One of the keys is that Super Saturday to dress like a professional. Dress how you want to get paid. Okay, there's no necessary uniform, but the point is dress appropriately. Dress like a boss. Dress like a millionaire. Dress how you want to get paid and then smile. Plenty of smiles. Okay, so that's setting up the game. Now gear up the mind. This is going to be a two-part presentation, I can already tell. Now gearing up our mind. In case you didn't know, and uh, there was a point when I didn't know either, and this was just brought to my awareness. There are actually two consciousnesses inside of your skull. There's the subconscious mind and then the conscious mind. And the subconscious mind is running at 140 million miles a second. And your conscious mind is running at 40 miles an hour. Okay. So what happens is the subconscious mind, in order to create some semblance of control and reduce the chaos, is it filters out 99% of your experience on this planet and it only delivers, well, even less, 99.9% .9 of the information gets filtered out and that 0.1% is what gets delivered to your conscious mind. And so what we're trying to do is get past this filter. Every one of you has a filter. One of the challenges is did you set up the filter on purpose or did society or your parents or your neighbors or TV or the internet, did they set up the filter? We need you to set up that filter consciously. Consciously go in and decide what information I want to be let in because there is plenty of business out there. There is plenty of real estate and opportunity out there. Walking right around in front of your freaking face. This filter though, is blocking it. The filter is blocking it. So we need to figure out what are the best ways to change the filter. Now here's one of the ways to change your filter. Affirmations. Affirmations will change your filter. Every day affirmations, not just once in a while, but every day. When you start to affirm that you're awesome, that you love yourself and you love what you do, that you're a generous giver and a gracious receiver, when you start talking to your your filter and saying, I'm a real estate investor. I'm a business owner. I add value to the marketplace. I solve real estate problems. When these are your affirmations, the filter starts to adjust. Properties and ideas and uh, opportunities and resources and people are all literally, if you just stretched out your arms, they you would be bumping into your opportunities. But if you haven't worked on your filter, is you're going to be is going to be obscure it's called the obscure obvious it really is right in front of you that next deal that next customer that next prospect that next five star is right in front of you but if you don't work on that filter you'll be blind to it so the way we modify and, and change our filters is through affirmations you can go online and type in uh, millionaire mindset affirmations those are really cool you get a list of a hundred I just uh, picked like the top 10 from that and, and blew that up on one page and printed it off and put it in my office. Affirmations change the filter. You know what else changes the filter? Your association. 
the people with whom you associate drastically affect your filter. If you hang out with four or five cynical people or sarcastic people, and that's the challenge of being sarcastic is it's like this blend of negativity and positivity, right? Like it's just, it's just, it's dangerous language. But if you keep hanging out with sarcastic people, all, all that's going to get through your filter is sarcasm. But if you keep hanging around grateful people or energized people or productive people or healthy people, committed people, all of that's going to start to affect your filter too. And you're going to start to see things about what it's like to be more committed than the average. You're going to start to see things of what it's like to be, have more follow through than the average person when you start to hang around people who do that. So hang around me. I follow through. Hang around the pack members in your area. Hang around the five stars in your area. Be sure to go to Super Saturdays because those are the people you want to associate with. Those people have a huge effect on your mind and your outcome, your circle of five people. I remember being a Jiffy Loop and looking around when I first learned about subconscious mind, conscious mind, association. I remember looking around Jiffy Loop and going, oh boy, this is my circle of five. Are you freaking serious? These people are determining my income, my health, my happiness, my relationship level, all of it is affected by that circle of five. That's one reason why I got the hell out of there. These <laughs> people just had a broke mindset. They might have had a great heart, great intentions on this planet, but they had a broke mindset and uh, I couldn't be around it. And, and you can't afford to be around that either. So your circle of five, I had to balance that out. I still had my job for nine and a half months after joining Renatus. I still had to go to two jobs for nine and a half months and associate with people that weren't as supportive as the people at my weekly meetings and the people at my monthly Super Saturday. So that's why I was like, I gotta be at every meeting because I gotta, I gotta wash out this, this association I've been dealing with, right? It's, um, imagine that you got a cup, a cup of chocolate milk. You got a cup of chocolate milk, okay? It's all cloudy and brown. It's hard to see through. And you just don't, it's, it's oh boy. It's just hard to see through. And you put that cup under your faucet and you just turn your faucet on 5%, 10%, just a little bit. And you just let that water run. What's gonna happen to that cup? This is gonna start to get thinned out and thinned out and thinned out. And if you keep letting it run, right, after several minutes of letting that water just run into that cup, eventually there's, there's not gonna be any more chocolate milk. It's just gonna be clear water, crystal clear, and a new uh a new new content right so this is what's happening to a lot of us at our jobs is this chocolate milk thing it's a mess it's hard to see through it's hard to move around it's dark it's murky but when you go to renatus events when you hop on these calls when you go to super saturdays and especially at nationals right we're at nationals we don't turn on that at five percent right you get a hundred percent flow you can wash out that cup instantly you get a whole new association of circle of 500 people, 1,000 people, more than that. So being sure that you associate with people that have the same goals, ideas, mindset, intentions, ethics, you know, discipline, those are the people you need to spend time with. And it, you'll gradually shift. Or you can make a drastic shift. I don't care, but you got you to gotta wash it out. Those circle of five people, if they're not helping you, it's not the people you like the most. It's the people that spend the most time with. All right. So one last thing on gearing up our mind, and then I got to wrap this up, is a four-part of philosophy, attitude, activity, and result. Your philosophy is tied to your uh, your attitude. Your attitude is, a, is tied to your activity, and your activity is tied to your result, and your result is tied to your philosophy. They're all connected. They're bound to each other. And cleaning up one is going to help you start to clean up the other, but neglecting one will start to make you neglect the others. So when some people look at this, they think, if I were to ask them, where do you think this starts? 
they would say it starts with philosophy. Most people say that. Uh, one, because at the top, and two, it's because it's the first thing that came up on the slide. But really, I did that to distract you. Where this thing starts is with results. This whole cycle pivots on the result. If you are clear on your result and what you want, what you're going to create, what you need for your life, what you're committed to, then it's going to, you're going to have to have a certain type of philosophy for that result. So that's why you need to get your result clear first. Now we know that you want money and we know you want time freedom or else you wouldn't be in this organization. So I get that. But what does your time freedom look like? And what does that amount of money look like? And how often and when and where? And what are you doing for it? And what are you making it do as it comes in? You got to get crystal clear on this result. Then it will help you with your philosophy. Here's three philosophies I'd like you to try on. It's as easy as doing it. I am responsible. And never blame justify or complain if that, if that was your philosophy that was your approach your attitude to life do you know how much easier it would be to make sales to get, grow your business to get free time so adopt that philosophy and then because of that philosophy you have a new attitude this is called the attitude of gratitude this is how you become a magnet right you've heard about the law of attraction this is the this is how you magnetize yourself you turn your body and your mind into a magnet by having gratitude. Gratitude is the most magnetic energy on this planet. So you can generate gratitude all day. All day in every event, every situation in your life. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Someone cuts you off in traffic, gratitude. Uh, something delayed, gratitude. And I had a, a stupid utility bill on one of my rental properties go behind. So now I got a stupid 60 day late on my uh, my credit report and how can I be grateful for that you know I was like oh really that could drop me like a hundred freaking points and I'm just sitting there thinking hmm what's good about this what how can I be grateful how can I be grateful and I'm like, ooh I now get to go take air accounts free credit repair program that's what I'll do so a couple months ago, I jumped into the free credit repair program and he cleaned it up. He got it off. 135 point jump. He got something else off. I didn't even know it was there. 135 point jump for me. And so, uh, and now I'm way more aware of my credit. I'm way more aware of where I'm at with things. The score is up. So most people go, oh man, and they could turn that into a crummy situation, start getting mad at their renters, start getting mad at their property manager. Get mad at their own property. But instead, of, I had an attitude of gratitude. A few minutes, I found the, the, the benefits and just went to work on the benefits. And speaking of work, activity. Massive activity in the direction of your dreams. Right? If they say it this way. If you're going to pass out business cards, you might as well pass out a few thousand. If you're going to pass out flyers or send emails, you might as well pass out a few thousand. If you're going to go analyze deals and knock on doors, you might as well knock on a few thousand. This is the activity level. If you're going to read books and classes. You might as well read a few thousand books and take a few thousand classes. Like this is a massive, massive. So stay focused. Make sure that what you're working on and what's in your mind is there on purpose. You put it there. You let it be there. Right, going back to that filter, going back to making sure that, that you design that filter. Most important, top priority, cleaning up that filter. That's what's going to get you what you want in life. So I'm going to finish this training on our next Money Monday. Be sure to catch the recording. Share it with your teams. Be on the Founders webinar today. It's, uh, it's coming up at 4 p.m. Mountain Time, so blast it out. That's my reminder to end this webinar. All right, guys, you've been awesome. Thanks, Keely, for setting this up. Thanks, Eloy, for coming out and sharing your insight on Super Saturday. Everyone else, thanks for being here. We will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful Monday, Monday. Bye.